Hello, people. Hello, sir. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. Excellent. Good. Okay. Let me see. Ooh, this is ready. Yeah. How was your weekend? Fine. Fine? Okay, great. Okay, let's get started tonight. So welcome one more time to English Corporativo class with pre-intermediate one. To start, I want to show you this activity just to have fun a little bit here. Okay, we have how many students right now? Eight, Marvin, Brian, Gabriel, Byron, Gio, Noemi, and Marcella. Okay, oh, in this group we have more boys than girls. Okay. Maybe more girls come later, join later. So, can you see my screen right now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, this is a game, a simple game about animals. This is vocabulary about animals, okay? We're going to play in two teams. And just to make it easier for the the rest that join later, uh, we're going to play boys versus girls. I know that there are only two girls, but they are very good. They are enough to <laughs> defeat the boys. In this game, you are going to see the name of the animal, but the letters are not in order. So you only have to tell me the name of the animal in the with the letters in the correct order, okay? Just okay. give me the name, okay? So, and because we, we have just few girls, let's get started, let's get started with the girls, okay? So, okay. watch the screen, turn on your microphones, please, because I will give you only five seconds to give me the name of the animal, and you are going to make points, and at the end, let's see who gets more points. Ready, girls? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, look and tell me what animal is. One. One. Two. Fish. Fish, let's check. Okay, good. 15 points for girls. Okay, boys, are you ready? Yes. 
Okay, right. what animal is? Juan? Wolf. Oh, let's check. Wolf, okay, good. 10 points, it was too easy. For three girls. Uh -huh. What animal is, girls? One, two, three, four, four five. No, come on, it's deer. Deer. Yes, like the... What, what is deer? Deer, those that ride Santa Claus. Uh, uh, slide. Uh -huh. Yeah, deers. Okay. I'm sorry, no points for you girls. Okay, boys, now it's your turn again. Okay. Uh huh. What is this? Five seconds. One, two, three, four. Key tent. Oh, 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 very good. On time. Key tent. Okay. Yes. Points for both. What is key tent, teacher? Key tent. Who said kitten? Can you tell? No, it's a baby cat. Hello, baby kitty. Cat. You know the name of kitty? Yeah. Hello, kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Okay. Oh, so easy. <laughs> <Cat>. <laughs> Okay, very good. Easy, but not too many points. That's the problem. Yes. Okay, boys, it's your turn. <clears throat> ah, <throat> easy too. Elephant. Elephant. <laughs> easy. <laughs> easy, okay. Okay, girls, you can do it. Fair. <gasps> Ah, interesting. Bear, yes. Okay. Good. Okay, boys. Oh, nice. Ah, no. <laughs> Two, three boys. Four boys. Panda. Ah, <laughs> yeah, panda. Okay. Okay, girls, ready? Yes. Ooh, what's that? Bro. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> frog. 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 Have you ever kissed a frog? <laughs> okay. Okay, boys, here, here, here it goes. Right now. Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> Ready, girls? Your yes. turn. Oh, easy. <laughs> Good, okay. Okay, boys. Oh. Frogs. Oh. Ah. Frogs, yeah, I only have five points, but good. Okay. Now again, <laughs> girls, you can do it, you can do it. Ah, interesting. Tiger. Tiger, yes, tiger, very good. Okay, boys. One, two, huh? Oh. B. Aha, B for five points. Okay. Girls, your last turn. Okay. 15 points, not bad. Owl. Oh, owl, yes, okay. Good. And boys, the last one. 
What? Dolphin. Dolphin. Okay. Okay. So boys win tonight. <laughs> Team two is the winner. Okay. Great. Good job. <laughs> Let's continue now. <laughs> they are dancing, huh? Okay. I think I'm gonna close that page. Okay, tonight, tonight we're going to start with this practice about intonation in questions, okay? So take a look to this video, please. And then we are going to practice. In this lesson, participants will listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in Questions Part A. Listen and Practice Yes-No questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Lesson, participants would listen, notice, and use intonation in questions. Pronunciation. Intonation in questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Yes-no questions usually have rising intonation. WH questions usually have falling intonation. Do you like pop music? What kind of music do you like? Okay, so now that you have listened and paid attention, what I want you to do is to record your voice asking these questions. Try to do your best. Remember, rising and falling intonation is important. Okay. Um, let's look let for this. You need. Okay. Let's practice these questions, please. So, um, turn on your microphones. Hey, hello. 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 Okay, so um, if you notice, the thing is that Yes, no questions. Oh, I think I better change the color of the... Yes, no questions have a rising intonation. Okay, rising intonation and information. Information questions have falling intonation, right? So let's practice. Repeat after me, please. You like to watch TV? Do you like, Do you like to, watch to watch TV? TV? Do you like music? Do you like Do you music? Like music? music? Do you play a musical instrument? 
Do you, Do you play, play a musical, musical instrument? instrument? So, rising intonation. And these have falling intonation. What programs do you like? Do you like? Hello, repeat. Hello, teacher. Do you okay, like? Okay. What programs do you like? What, what programs, programs do, do you like? like? What videos do you like? What, what videos, videos do you like? like? Which musical instrument do you play? Which, Which musical, musical instrument, instrument do you play? Do you play? Hey, Claudia, do you have any question? See that you raise your hand, rose your hand. No, okay. Okay, I'm gonna send you to small groups and I want you to write five yes no questions and five uh, information questions. And then take time and turns to practice the pronunciation of these questions. So in your notebook, please, in, in okay. groups, write five yes no questions, different yes no questions, whatever you want to talk about. Write five yes no questions and five information questions. And then please practice the pronunciation. And when we come back, so I want to hear some of your questions, okay? Okay. So please go to the small groups. Great. Oh, we have few students tonight. What's going on? Join the groups, write the questions, practice the pronunciation, and then we'll come back.
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. Probando. Probando. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let me start with Gio. Gio, can you read me one of your sentences? Well, two actually. A yes, no question and an information question. Uh, sir, uh, I, I, I didn't, I didn't understand your explanation, and I, I don't know if you can hear me right now. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I couldn't. Did nothing. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, no problem. Sorry. No problem. Uh, just listen then, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what about Gabriel? Are you there, Gabriel? Gabriel? No. Hello, teacher. Do you hear me? Oh. Yes, yes, I can hear you okay. now. Okay. Just can you give question. me one? Uh, uh huh. One. Uh, a yes, no. One yes, no question, and one of uh, information question. Okay. Uh, do you do you like play soccer? Soccer. Okay. In information question. Uh, how many slices of pizza do you eat? Very good. Very good. Thanks. Only, only soccer. Okay. Soccer. Soccer. Yeah, this okay. is that sound. The double C sounds like k soccer. Very good. Okay. okay pause the ball, Gabriel. Uh, Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. One and one. No era yo el que estaba perdido, Jasmine. Uh huh. Ah. Hey, qué mala onda, Gio. <risa> Esta, era esto, era esto lo que teníamos que hacer. Es yeah. que no, no entendimos, teacher. <risa> Two questions. Ok, ok. I'm going to try. Nosotros, I, I'm going to try my, my tour, teacher. Yeah, just. Sí, la contestamos okay. entre nosotros. <risa> <risa> ok. Uh, Ajá. Ok, Gio. Okay, do you like do you like to swim? Mm -hmm. And the second the second question, uh, what what kind of pool do you like? Okay, good. Okay, yes. Good. Okay. But guys, when you don't understand uh, something and you are in the groups, you can write in the chat. Okay. okay? Or, or in WhatsApp. Hey teacher, we didn't get it. Okay, so and I can go to your group and help you. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, somebody else, volunteer. Only one. Okay, Marcela. <laughs> no, okay. Um, do you like play basketball? Uh huh. Oh, good. And What? I don't know. Whatever, cualquier cosa. ¿Qué deportes te gusta? What, what food do you like? Okay, perfect. 
Okay. So the idea is it, it was to practice the intonation for yes, no questions and information questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can do it later and, and practice. And just remember that yes, no questions have rising intonation and information questions have falling intonation. Okay. Now we have to continue with this. Okay. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the object pronouns because in the grammar uh, in the video we have mentioned this but very shortly so uh, object pronouns what are object pronouns well we have seven basic pronouns and those uh, the seven basic pronouns have uh, this one form when they are used as subjects and other form when they are used as objects okay what is the difference between subject and object so subjects are what the sentence is about and object are what is affected by the action of the subject for example i like orange juice in the sentence, I is the subject, right? So I like orange. The subject is I. In the sentence, I read books. The subject is I. And the object is books. The object, or in this case, books, is the object as it is receiving the action. Okay, the, the verb read uh, affects directly the noun books. So I read what? I read books. So books is the object. Okay. Just to explain quickly what an object is. Object is the receiver of the action of the verb that's it el que recibe the action of the verb i read books okay what do i read books i drink coffee what do i drink coffee coffee is the object okay and if you you know now we have the different objects pronouns for I me for you you for he him for she her for it it for we us for you plural you and for they is them now so object pronouns are used instead of nouns so in lugar de nouns usually because we already know what the object is so ya sabemos de qué estamos hablando en la oración it makes the sentence easier to read and understand and avoids repetition we normally use object pronouns after a verb or a preposition Look at the difference. I like horses. I is a subject pronoun. Horses don't like me. Me is an object pronoun. We talk to our neighbor. Subject pronoun. She talks to us. They listen to the teacher. She listens to them carefully. You speak very quickly. We watch you on TV. Okay, for example, in a sentence. When I say, I like coffee. I like it 
very hot. So in this sentence, the, the object pronoun is it. ¿A qué se refiere este it? Eso. Eso. Una cosa, una cosa. ¿Qué Eso. cosa? Como se está refiriendo al café, para al no mencionar. Exacto, ¿verdad? Estoy refiriéndome al café. Para no decir, I like coffee. I like coffee very hot. Uh -huh. Para no repetirlo, uso un object pronoun. Por ejemplo, otra más. She loves her children. She loves them so much. Okay. She loves her children. She loves them so much. So here we have the ob object pronoun them. Yeah. ¿A qué se refiere este them? Ellos. Children. ¿Quién es ellos? A los niños. The children, ok. Her children. ¿No? Para no repetir. She loves her children. She loves her children so much. So, to avoid repetition, we use subject pronoun. So, them refers to her children. Children. Okay. Um, and if you see, the subject pronoun is after the verb here. Huh? She loves them. Ella los ama. Okay, she loves them. I like it. So this is a key. We normally use object pronouns after a verb or a preposition. For example, después de una preposition, como que yo dije, ¿no? I love to eat pupusas. I love to eat them. So, I love them refers to pupusas. Okay, well, this is for another verb. Here, in this example, we have the sentence after a preposition. She talks to us. So this is the object pronoun, us, and goes after the preposition to. Okay, after the preposition to. También. Them after the preposition to here. So just a little explanation about what objects, object pronouns are. Yeah, in a practice is more simple. Vamos a ver que hay un que hay un ejercicio. Okay. So the idea is to substitute the noun for an object pronoun. If you see the example, I saw Mr. Brown this morning and gave Mr. Brown my homework. To avoid repetition, we use the subject pronoun him here. Okay. So okay. What, about, what about him? John likes computer games, but he doesn't play computer games very often. 
what subject pronoun what object pronoun should we uh, use doesn't play it. it play it play it them it ah it or them 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 why them? them because it's plural because uh, it is plural uh, exactly okay. them uh -huh. them is the plural for it okay very good Number three, Neil Armstrong was born in 1930. Not all of them are object pronouns, okay? Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in 1969. What about this? Him. 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 He. He or him? Him. Him. He. Aquí no es un object pronoun. Que es un sujeto. Oh. Recuerden, el object pronoun va para la acción. Uh -huh, y va antes del verbo. Aquí está el verbo, mira. En la anterior, ¿ve? Doesn't play. ¿Ya? Aquí no tenemos verbo. ¿Ok? Okay. Next. Penguins don't live near the North Pole. They. Penguins live they. near the South Pole. They. 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 Yes. They live near the South Pole. Five. My aunt lives in Toronto, but my aunt often comes to visit my family and me. He. The first, this one. My her. aunt lives he. in Toronto, but... He. But her... Her. 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 She. Are you sure? She. Veamos con her, si funciona. Oh. She. Where is the verb he. here? No, Where is she. the verb? It's she. It's she. Ah. she. It's she. 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 Tenemos verbo antes de ahí, ¿verdad? She. But she often comes to visit us. us. Ah, perfect. Us. us. Excellent. Six, if you have your ticket, you can give your ticket to the man over there. I have a verb here. It. It. Perfect. It. You can give it to the man over there. Seven. First, my friend and I went shopping. Later, my friend and I went home. We. 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 Very good. Okay, I will leave you the, le the next five to do it by yourselves. I'll give you two minutes and then we check. Two minutes.
Hello? Hello? Hello, hello. Finished? Sure. No, no me escuchaba. Yes. Yes, <laughs> finished. Okay. okay. Sí, no sé qué pasó, pero no escuchaba nada. Ajá, todos nos quedamos en pausa. <laughs> okay. Okay, who can read me number eight? Where was Sarah? I didn't see she. She. Where, where was Sarah? Her. I didn't see she. He, her, at the huh? party last week. I didn't see? see her. I didn't see her. 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 Uh -huh. I didn't see her. Okay, who reads number nine? John is a really nice guy. I like him. I like he, he a lot. Him. He or him? Him. 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 Why? Because the verb is like. You have a verb before. I like him a lot. Then, one. They, they. Read the, the complete sentence. Mars, the planet Mars has two the moons. Planet Mars has two they moons. They are both very. They are both very small. Yes, they. Number eleven. I really like the cake. I really like light the cake. Light the cake. It's unfortunately, I didn't have time to finish it. Finish it. it. Finish it. Okay, it. perfect. To finish it. And number 12. Susie and I, I for the milk. Ten. 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 We. We. No. No. Bring no, we. No. Us. We. Us. us. No, us, us, us. Bring oh, us. Bring us. Bring us. us. Uh -huh. bring, bring, us. Is bring the food. Okay, so let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Number one, okay? I saw Mr. Brown this morning and gave him my homework. I saw, I saw Mr. Brown, Brown this morning, morning and gave him my homework. homework. Good. John likes computer games, but he doesn't play them very often. John likes computer games, but he doesn't play them very often. Very often. Three, Neil Armstrong was born in 1930. He landed on the moon in 1969. Neil Armstrong was born in 1930. He landed on the moon in 1969. Four, penguins don't live near the North Pole. They live near the South Pole. Penguins don't live near the North Pole. They live near the South Pole. The South Pole. Five. 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 My aunt lives in Toronto, but she often comes to visit us. My aunt lives in Toronto, but she often comes to visit us. Six. If you have your ticket, you can give it to the man over there. If you, if you have, have your ticket, ticket you can give, can give it, it, it to the man over there. over there. Seven. First, my friend and I went shopping. Later, we went home. First, First my friend and I went, and went and shopping. shopping. Later, Later, we went home. home. Went home. Hey, where was Sarah? I didn't see her at the party last week. Where, where, where was Sarah? Sarah? 
I sent her a letter last week. Nine. John is a really nice guy. I like him a lot. John, John is a really nice guy. I like him a lot. Ten. The planet Mars has two moons. They are both very small. The planet the Earth has two moons. They, they, they are both very small. Eleven. I really liked the cake. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to finish it. I really liked the cake. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to finish it. It. To finish it. And 12. Susie and I paid for the meal, but the waiter forgot to bring us the food. Susie and I paid for the meal, but the waiter forgot to bring us the food. Okay, very good. Very good. Any questions so far? No. No. Great. Okay, then um, we're going to stop here. Uh, please remember we started already unit four or section four and uh, complete the exercises in the platform. Okay? Okay. Okay, hey guys, have a good night then. Night. And see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.